Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on the car program. Now you can see here that I've organized our code and commented it so that we can see what each uh, part of it does. Now you can minimize them and maximize them by using these buttons right here. And you, if you remember from the last tutorial we have name, color, and show info. And then I just organize the button click events into one little group right here. And then here's our form one load. Now let's go ahead and add some stuff to our car class that's going to be inherited by other classes. But first let's get rid of some of this white space here. Okay, so now let's come down below overwrite to string. And we're going to create something uh, that will set and get the number of doors. Now this is going to be a property called number of doors. So we'll create a variable up here that's going to store that. So we'll make it private because we're going to use the property to indirectly access the value and we'll be able to set the value. So number of doors as integer. So now that we have our number of doors um, value there. Let's just go ahead and add a comment that says uh, tells us what we're going to be doing. So number of doors property. So gets and sets number of doors. So now what we're going to do is declare our property. So public property and we'll just call it number of doors. So number of doors as integer. And when we press enter, uh, let's see, uh, yes, this is not case sensitive. So let's go ahead and call it property number of doors. Or just to make it a little bit easier to read, let's leave this one to number of doors and set this one to int, num <coughs> int number of doors so that we know which data type it is. So now we have our number of doors property and we will, here let's do this we will add our get and our set. So we'll type get and you can see that it adds end get and the set for us and the end of the property. So what do we want to get? We want to get the number of doors. So we'll return int number of doors. Now we have our uh, our set function or our set uh, method. So if you know cars can only have or at least uh, like normal cars that you see driving around, they have either two doors uh, all the way up to five doors. So let's just add an if statement to keep out any other values uh, from to keep out any other values besides two to five. So if and now the value passed to set that will set the number of doors is called value. So if value is greater than or equal to two and if value is greater than or equal to 5 so or less than or equal to 5 then what do we want to do we want to set the number of doors to that value so int number of doors equals value okay so now that we have created this you can see that if the value um, is anything else it's not going to set it so let's just tell the user that it has not been set if any other value has been entered so we will just type else and we will type message box dot show and we will show we will say uh, the number of doors you have entered is not valid okay so now that we've created this property right here number of doors Let's go ahead and come back over to our form1.vb code and we'll add a, another button. So we'll go ahead, drag this button on here. We will set the text to doors and we'll go ahead and set the name to button set doors. And we'll double click on that to open up the click event and we'll just get rid of that white space right there so it's grouped with our button clicked events. So let's go ahead and look and see what we did up here well you can see that we used an input box so we'll type 
default car dot and let's access the property number of doors you can see that it has the finger and the um, little piece of paper because it is a property instead of a an actual variable like car name so default car number of doors equals and what we're going to need to do is convert what they type in to an integer so we'll just type C type and now what we need to do is type input box um, please enter the number of doors okay so when you call input box um, it's going to return a string value to you, to you or to the caller so basically what we're putting right here for the first argument is the string that is returned by input box so we're going to be converting a string to a type integer okay so now it will set the number of doors and basically when you call default car dot number of doors and use the equal sign it's going to call the uh, set method and it's going to use this right here as the value that it uses for that so let's go ahead and run this uh, but first let's go up here and we need to um, change the to string so let's get rid of this message box right here and we'll come back here to all cars and for our override to string let's go ahead and show the number of doors so we'll do that just before the car speed so we'll type number of doors and then we will add default or we'll add um, number of doors and then we'll just add a new line and then we'll add another and sign okay so now when we call to string it will give us all of this stuff back so we'll go ahead and set the name of it to uh, or let's do a challenger and we'll go ahead and click OK we'll set the color to black and we'll set the number of doors to 4 so when we show info we get challenger SRT8 black and number of doors is equal to 4 now if we set the number of doors to something like 7 and click OK we get a message box that says the number of doors you have entered is not valid so we'll go ahead and try that again we'll do four doors right there and click show info and we get all the info about our car so if you haven't typed this code in I, I highly suggest you do that because you will learn a lot from typing it in yourself and making changes to it and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching